constantly trying to conquer the Himalayas. But before you think that man and machine have finally conquered these mighty mountains, think again. Out here, we're still at the mercy of the mountain gods. They hold the reins on the weather. They can bring rocks tumbling down. They can destroy roads. And that's exactly why you need the mountain goat to get you through the other side. जो पास पार करता है हाइट पे वहाँ चढ़ने के लिए बहुत अच्छा रहता है। Out here, there's no backup, no mobile network. If you get stuck, you get stuck for days. Well, since Sirish filmed the first mountain goat episode, there's an all-new Alto K10. Ladakh has changed too. There are brand new passes which take us up to dizzying heights, and Evo India has made a habit of creating new 24-hour records. And so our grand plan to conquer seven of Ladakh's highest passes in 24 hours. We will start at the highest pass, Umlingla. Next is Fotela, then Kaksangla and Tanglangla before breaking for the night and pausing the clock at Karu. The weather and road conditions are too dangerous to drive at night, which is why this 24-hour record will be split into two 12-hour stints. The next morning, we will head to Varela, followed by Changla and Khardungla making it hopefully a total of seven passes in 24 hours. We begin at the top of the world. Umlingla is the highest motorable pass in the world and it stands tall. Really, really, really tall at 19,024 feet. Up here, all the things that you've heard about high altitude is true. You get to experience them in person. The air is thin, you feel short of breath, and the temperature at the moment is around minus 15 degrees. I've only been standing outside the car for less than five minutes, but my head is throbbing. On this journey, we have no time to lose. Road and weather conditions are constantly evolving. The forecast says that snowfall is imminent, which will slow us down significantly. But we soldier on. We need to scale at least four passes today before we halt for the night if we're going to set the record. Making it, Mountain Gods willing of course, a total of 7 passes in 24 hours. The clock has started and we're heading down Umlingla now. And I would like to think that things get easier from here but that's not how things work. We will be heading back up Fortilla and heading back down again. So although there will be temporary relief from the headaches and the nausea, it will come back when we are up Fortilla. But that's just how things are up in the mountains. This is only my fifth month out here at Evo India and I'm already living out the wildest adventure of my life. Sirish was right when I quit my job about six months ago in the UAE and headed back to India for a new adventure. He told me this would be the greatest job in the world and he was absolutely right. And up in the mountains, the Alto is the best car there is. Ever heard of the phrase horses for courses? Well, the Buddha International Circuit wouldn't be the right place for the Alto. But out here, where the roads are narrow and they're pretty bad in many places and the cars are struggling for oxygen. The auto out here is, well, Lord Alto. Even our editor Sirish swears by the Alto. His very first rally, the reliability trial of the 2001 Raid the Himalaya was with an Alto 800. And he won the rally outright. Sirish's Alto finished ahead of all 4x4 SUVs.
there was a fresh blanket of snow to welcome us at Fortella top and the auto really handled the snow really well particularly the ABS brakes which was helping us keep things in check and although there was snow on the ground it was still significantly warmer than up at Umlingla and although it's not quite as lofty as Umlingla it's still pretty high at 18,124 feet I'm still feeling the effects of the high altitude so that's why I'm a little bit out of breath uh, the Fotilla Pass takes us all the way to Hanle but it's no shortcut it has hairpin after hairpin after hairpin very steep inclines taking up all the way to the top we don't have much time on our hands that's why we didn't stop there we're gonna keep going all the way down to Hanle the village of Hanle is home to the Indian Astronomical Observatory once the sun sets, the sky above Hanley transforms into an enchanting canvas of a thousand glistening stars. It's like a celestial symphony that will leave you in awe of the universe's beauty. Our trusty Alto K10 is absolutely in its elements up here. There are 800cc Altos all over the place up here in the mountains. But having a 1 litre K10 engine really helps. It's an extra blessing of power when you're trying to climb up these slopes. At the absolute top, there's usually a dusting of snow. So if you're smooth with your inputs and you choose the right line, the Alto absolutely can make it up. It channels its inner ibex. After a long drive on the highway, we finally made it to the third pass of the day. This is Kaksangla, which is 17,841 feet high, which is still a lot. This is the third pass today that we have experienced at above 17,000 feet. So this is definitely taking a toll on us. The pass itself isn't very popular with the locals. They call it hell for some reason. It's probably because the road surface in many areas isn't great. But at the same time, the views are stunning. It takes you past two frozen lakes and on the other end lies Chushul. It just goes to show that the road less travel often leads to the most extraordinary places on earth. Now we've had our fair share of Ladakhi adventures and one thing is for sure, despite how quickly you drive, there's always an auto around somewhere or the other tailgating you. If you slow down even a little bit for one of these rough patches, the auto would fly by and leave you scratching your head. The big enabler here is the lightweight frame. If you drive over ruts or stones in something heavy, you risk puncturing a tyre or getting thrown off track. But since an auto has so little mass, it just skips over these surfaces. Secondly, its narrow track and short wheelbase allow it to avoid most obstacles in the first place. And finally, it's the engine. Maruti has tuned the engine for low-end torque, which means it has the grunt to pull itself up the steepest gradients. Even river crossings are no problem thanks to its 180mm ground clearance. No wonder the locals swear by the Alto's off-road prowess. We <laughs> इसमें कोई दिक्कत नहीं हुआ मेरे को सवाल तो तो सबसे वैसे गाड़ी है मेरे ख्याल से इस लाइक का छोटा पैकेट एंड बड़ा धमाका आई आल्सो रेकमेंड माय फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली टू बाय ऑल्टो बिकॉज़ इट्स वेरी रिलायबल एंड इट हैज अ ग्रेट माइलेज ऑल्टो लद्दाख की जान है We made it to the fourth and final pass of the day, which is Tang Lang La at 17,480 feet. It's already dark out, so there's no real point in stopping up there. Tang Lang La is a bit of a mixed bag. Some of the roads are really good, but in parts, they are quite broken down. And I'm really looking forward to heading back down to Karu for our night hall for some hot food and some rest, because the day has been long and the altitude sickness has been quite extreme, to be honest.
We're picking up where we left off last night in Karu. On today's menu is Warila, Changla and Kardungla. But if time permits, we might make a run for Marsimikla. The mountain gods tested us to the limit yesterday, with freezing temperatures up to minus 17 degrees and high altitudes taking a toll on our bodies and minds. Let's see what's in hold for us today. This new K10 is based on the Hardtech platform, which makes it safer too. Those ABS assisted brakes are a real lifesaver on these slippery paths and you've got dual airbags for peace of mind. We made it up to Varela and it's a big moment for me because this is the first time I'm actually seeing snow. We are at 17,429 feet and the temperature is around 14, minus 14 in fact. And we're heading back down because the other way is impassable. We are on our way down from Varela and on the way to Changla. The other end of Varela is actually impassable at the moment because of the snow. So we're heading down and towards Changla, which is actually the right way to take it anyway. Well, in terms of distance and in terms of the alto's ability, the challenge of doing seven passes in 24 hours is quite doable. The alto is very much capable of it. And the roads in most places are quite good. But the real challenge is doing it in these minus 15 degrees temperatures. We've made it to the second pass of our day, 17,688 feet, Changla Pass. We're doing really well on time. So we're going to push on to Marsimikla. Jaldi, chalte hai. Chal, chal, chal. The new Alto K10 has gotten a little taller. It has a slightly longer wheelbase. And what that means is there's more room on the inside. In fact, after spending about 8 hours in the car so far, I have no aches or pains to report. The driving position is quite right and you sit quite high up so you get a good view out which helps you place the car in these narrow roads. We've also got a touchscreen infotainment system with uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and some cup holders, a good bottle holder on the door where I can keep my water to stay hydrated in these high altitudes. But the MVP in these situations, in these conditions rather, is the heater. It is working overtime to keep us warm in these conditions. The detour to Masamikla would add over 6 hours to our schedule. But this pass has a special allure. Before Umlingla rose to fame, Marsimikla was the highest pass in the world. Upon arrival, we learned that it had been closed off to civilians. But after much persuasion, we managed to make it to the top. And although we weren't allowed to shoot any video, here's photographic proof that we did actually make it up there. From there, we could see snow-covered mountains of China. What a day. Time is ticking and we've got only 7 hours left to tackle our final pass, Kart Dongla. But after 17 hours on the road, there's no turning back now. This plucky little car has braved the cold, kept us safe and taken us higher than we've ever been before. That's exactly why the Alto is one of the most beloved cars in India. And now, for the last leg of this challenge, it's going to take every ounce of its mojo and every bit of driving skill that I can muster. The snowfall and slippery roads will make the final few kilometers up painfully slow. But the countdown is on and we're not packing down. Made it to 
Khardungla. We're climbing up now. It's only 5.30 but it's completely dark. And the freezing temperatures and the lack of visibility is making things really difficult. But we're pushing on. We're going to try and make it as soon as possible. We made it and it's snowing. We promised seven, but we managed to do eight of the highest passes in the world. I'm not going to lie, this is probably the toughest 24 hours of my life. But for the altos in this region, this is just another Sunday drive. Don't underestimate the quiet, unassuming little alto. In places like this, people swear by the alto and now you know why. This is the real mountain goat, the greatest of all time.